we're going to prove the following trig identity. What we're going to start by doing here is go through uh, this left side and convert this into basic terms. And what I mean by that, we're going to set the cosecant theta, we'll have 1 over sine theta, and then we'll have 1 plus 1 over sine theta. And now what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and multiply through by sine theta. So both of these. And what this is going to do is it's just going to convert the top into 1. And the bottom here is going to become sine theta plus 1. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take the conjugate here and you'll see what we're doing. So 1 over... 1 plus sine theta. It's a little easier to see this way. 1 minus sine theta over 1 minus sine theta. Now we're going to get 1 minus sine theta over 1 minus sine squared theta. Now, and this is a trig property because sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1, and uh, cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta, so we can simply convert this into cosine squared theta, and we get our 1 minus sine theta over cosine squared theta. That's it. That's our solution.